Hello, my name is Chris Ware from Kinetic Engineering and I would like to show you some features of our TouchCut 7 control system. The controller is divided into multiple tabs, dividing up the functionality into easy to use modules. First of all, we have the program tab. Here we have a schedule of programs sent from our Prime Cut Any programming software. The programs are ordered in the order they are to be cut, however we have the ability to run any program at any time. The operator can touch on a program and instantly get extra information about the program. For example, in this case we can see the various drills and taps and mills used to cut this program, as well as the expected time to cut it. We can also see the parts in the program, including a dimension drawing that we can zoom in on and pan around to get more detail. Once we have a program, we can also have a database of materials. The materials database is used to store all our tooling settings to run the program. Here for example we are looking at a, a two-stage drill which has two different feeds for the small part of the drill and the bigger diameter. Taps, mills, etc. are also stored in here. Here we have the plasma settings, feed rate, voltage and all the gas settings to control a hypertherm plasma system. We have a position tab. This is used for positioning the machine, setting up plate rotation, etc., and general jogging. So if I press stop, for example, I can now jog the machine. Or we can use this joystick to do fine control. The run page is where it really happens. This is where we run our programs. Here I have a, a nest loaded, and if I want to restart my program from any point, I can go run, cutting run, smart start. The red dot is showing me where, where it thinks I'm up to, so if I go, go to process, I can confirm with my laser pointer that that's where I want to be. If that's not right, then I can zoom in and I can touch somewhere else. And I can go to that process and start from there. The advanced tab controls all the settings and configuration for the machine, including a list of users and their, pro and their permissions and groups. Different users can have different capabilities as far as running the machine. A new feature of our controllers is the automatic robotic part unloading. This panel here is controlling the part unloader. Here we can see the parts stacked on the pallet, the machine automatically plans which parts go on which pallet based on various grouping rules and plans the stack in such a way that the stack is stable. Multiple pallet stations are supported. We've recently introduced a web interface. The web interface can run from a tablet or a phone and allows remote control of particularly the part unloader but also interaction with the machine. Here for example I can look on the pallet and see the parts that have been stacked. I hope you found that interesting. It's just a brief summary of some of the features of our TouchCut 7 controller. Thank you for watching.